All right, B7, two liter fuel pump related issues or fuel pressure related faults. FSI issues, obviously, as I've talked about for years and years, have issues with the high pressure fuel pump and the cam follower. Sounds like you're aware of that, you've checked it. Uh, if you have previously had one of cam follower wear through, you could have damaged the cam lobe and that's actually what needs to be replaced is the cam lobe is damaged and that's why it's causing fault. So if somebody, maybe it wasn't you, maybe it was before you bought the car, had one rip all the way through, they just chucked a cam follower in it and sold the car, that definitely could be a reason why. Almost positive, I, I can't remember off the top of my head. I think there's two fuel pressure sensors on that car, one of the rail, one of the pump. If you have only replaced one of those sensors, you could have the other one being a problem, but I would pull off the pump, look, inspect the cam lobe, spin it over and see what it looks like. Look at some pictures of some new ones. We'll put one on screen here. You can look what the new uh, lobe should look like when, when it's in good shape. If yours is all chewed up, that's 100% gonna be a problem and could be the cause of the issue which is why someone sold the car without fixing it is because cams are expensive. The job is a big job. You have to get into the timing. Um, it's not ideal. So the only other thing that I would be concerned about is the quality of the parts used. Because sometimes, you know, if you use the cheapest aftermarket thing, it always creates this giant question mark of like, is this the quality of the part issue that I used instead of, is this an issue with something else that I'm chasing? Um, and as the shop, at our shops, one of the reasons why they're really specific about the quality of parts they use is, and any specialty shop is gonna be like that, is because they wanna know for sure they're putting a part in there that they have confidence is good and is right and has the correct technical specs for that car instead of just chucked in the car. Because I've seen aftermarket parts do all kinds of crazy things in cars. Um, you know, a good example is ignition coils that uh, if you buy from auto parts stores, you pay a ton of money and they will almost for sure fail and cause problems within like 10,000 miles. So they're all trash, uh, don't buy them. Buy quality ones from someone like us or, or anybody else. Things like brands like Bosch or Eldor or Hitachi or you know different brands like that. Um, so hope that helps. If you need help looking up the parts for your car, shoot us an email. Uh, again, Volkswagen Audi parts, shoptap.com. We can help you find the parts you need for your car.